The report examining the way rape cases are investigated and prosecuted, carried out by several women groups, which was handed to MPs yesterday ahead of the government's rape review, has identified catastrophic systemic failures, which are long-standing. So pretty much like every other crime investigation now. Oh, and by the way, when is the review into how the government has raped the country and all of its citizens? Changes recommended include no longer examining an alleged victim's sexual history and rape trials and urgent research into what survivors want. The report found several recurring barriers to justice, including persistent myths that rape victims were asking for it or had dressed provocatively. It revealed cases that were dropped following scrutiny of mobile phone messages, which suggest the defendant might have had a reasonable belief that the alleged victim consented to sex, despite medical evidence to the contrary. Centre for Women's Justice Director Harriet Wistrich said, despite legislation and policies that have imposed legal duties on the police and prosecutors to effectively investigate and prosecute rape despite clear guidance on disregarding myths and stereotypes and other measures designed to, un to ensure fair trials. Our report reveals catastrophic systemic failures in the criminal justice system that embolden serial rapists and misogynists and abandoned traumatised victims. In 2019 to 2020, 1,439 alleged rapists were convicted of rape or another crime, half of the number three years ago. The number of completed prosecutions in rape flagged cases was the lowest since tracking began in 2009. That led to women's groups to suggest rape was being decriminalised with perpetrators unlikely to face prosecution. The report also recommends stronger leadership on sexual offences within the police and crown prosecution service, but specialist support for marginalised women and the creation of a ministerial post to focus on serious sexual offending. Harriet Wittrich said real change requires criminal justice institutions to be held fully accountable and leadership in those institutions to demonstrate an absolute commitment to ensure anyone working in this area understands rape culture and is determined to tackle it. But surely criminal justice institutions should be held fully accountable over all crime investigations and not just rape. Those people in those positions should all show absolute commitment and should be punished if they fail in any of those duties. The report also demands urgent research into the reporting of rape, who does and who doesn't go to the police and why, and understanding what survivors want from the, just from the, from the justice system. The report stated that it can feel as though the repeated commissioning of these reviews and inspections is a way for government and other authorities to indicate concern while never following through with the action and resources needed to make change. No shit. That's a classic move by these institutions. Every now and again they do something or some say something to make it appear that they're doing something by throwing someone under the bus. But in most cases completely. Oh you f***. That's a classic move by these institutions. Every now and again, they do something or say something or throw somebody under the bus to make it appear that they're doing something, but completely ignoring the vast majority of issues. Now, I'm certainly not knocking a report into the rape situation within criminal justice. It's a horrific thing to go through and to be accused of, but everything the report outlines are things that should be occurring already. The problem is, in my opinion, as with all of these criminal justice institutions, is that no one is ever really held accountable and even if they are called out over something the chances are that they're simply allowed to retire with nothing more than a slap on a wrist whilst getting to keep all of the perks they should only be entitled to if they've done the job to the best of their ability in the first place. Big thank you to channel supporters especially these guys your support is of course truly appreciated please don't forget to like share comment and if you haven't already please subscribe let me know your thoughts in the comments as I know many of you will and until next time stay safe Look after each other, film the police and other officials.